my first time on this side of Canada. Long just picked us up. Hello. And we're about to have a great week, great weekend, celebrating Canada, Canada Day. <laughs> here it's a lot of my family and a lot of Tori my brother my brother's girlfriend's family who are all the ones who are from here Canada area Canada area that's a very large area anyways I'm from Canada uh, this is our room we're sharing a room with Logan Logan's there we'll be here and then this is the house is very modern vibes we're gonna go on a little walk so I'll bring you guys with us walk Live time walk. some variety variety Good morning, it is Sunday. It's really like my first day in Canada since I didn't get here till like seven o'clock last night. But we went and saw like a little local band because there's a bunch of celebrations going on this weekend. And then this morning, it's actually a little bit chilly, which I'm loving because it's just hot in Missouri right now. And <laughs> vlog. Um, I'm, I think I already said I'm sharing a room with Abel and Log, and they were snoring so loud last night, but I got like 10 hours of sleep. I feel great. I'm out here. I have like 30 pages left for my book. A little cold. Might need a blanket. Anyway, let's just, I don't know what the plan is for today. Apparently we're having traditional Canadian breakfast made by Tori's dad this morning, so should be a banger. ready for the day. Her faces are just completely fogged. <laughs> Walking back into the village just to have a little fun. It's like maybe a 10 minute walk from my Airbnb. It's like actually cold today. I'm in sweatpants, a sweater. It feels so good. I was saying that I wish weather was like this year round with like a little bit of months that are like hot because I do love a good pool day and whatnot, but I was low key tired of the hot. So I, fall weather is my favorite weather and it feels like fall right now. And then this is like a resort in the Blue Mountains. So in the winter, obviously this is literally ski hills. There's like the gondolas and everything or not gondolas ski lifts <laughs> so yeah this is really cool to see it in the summer <laughs> oh wow thank you why was it out of focus that whole mess it all up not the whole thing just when i thank you is it enough for everyone guess what we're having for dinner tonight show them babe Cocaine. Okay, no. <laughs> That's for dessert. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Looks good, eh? Looks delicious, eh? Good enough for the first, eh? <laughs> it's not the first yet, though. So, this is our yard. We got here last night, so I didn't really show y'all much. This is the house. I'll do a tour eventually, but living room, kitchen, dining room. Jordan drinking Canada Dry. <laughs> in Canada. And then there's a balcony and all of our rooms are up there. And there's a basement with like some games and stuff. After the beach, we ate food and I took the fattest nap. So, jumping forward a little bit, we came to a town like 10 minutes away from where we're staying. And there's like this whole boat area and a pier and stuff. So, we're just gonna walk around and enjoy it. We were also gonna get lattes, but it's closed. And a lot of places are closed because it's Canada today. But that is okay. I did drink an energy drink and then fell asleep after. So, I'm just really tired. <laughs>
adventures and since it's Canada Day we asked Tori to make us some poutine. So we are in Canada on Canada Day eating poutine. Yay! Good morning! Day, I don't even know what we're on but we finally got our own room. We were sharing a room in this Airbnb because there were so many people. There were 13 people staying here between our family and Tori's family. And now we have our own room and it's the pink room. How cute. I don't know today's plan. We're all just like eating breakfast and stuff. And I think we might be going on a hike or something. I don't know. I'll vlog whatever we do. But I thought maybe today I could also show you guys the house. Because it's really cool. So this is upstairs where all the rooms are. This is our room. Jordan and Tori are staying in there. It's like a balcony that looks down. And then my parents and are down there. And Logan's in this room right here got these Y staircase vibes. So you walk in here, this is the front door and the entry area and then the living room upstairs. There is a downstairs, there's a massive laundry room, bathroom. Oh, somebody was doing pull-ups. <laughs> and then this is the kitchen. Jordan's making us breakfast. Mmm, yummy. Built-in espresso machine, amazing. Built-in bacon, really. That's what happens when you bring Jordan somewhere, you get built-in bacon. And then island, island number two, mini fridge. Here's the dining room, and got this really cool deck area, and the yard. And then this is what the house looks like. It's very modern vibes. There's also a basement, but Benji's sleeping down there, so. I did to go on a hike. Jordan just made us some caffeinated tea. Only me, Jordan, and Abram are going because everyone doesn't feel like it. So let's go get this hike. We stopped and got some energy drinks. And if you look right behind us, there's a beaver tail place. We got beaver tails the other day and I've literally been craving it ever since, but they're probably so bad for you. We got these rain oh. store. Oh, is it not good? I was like, oh, it'll probably be similar to There's Celsius. This is the only thing they had at the little market. Here, come show them what flavor you got. I got orange flavor. Do you want to have sugar candy? candy. Oh. Right. oh wait, are these sugar free? Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, that is very... Do you want to try mine? Yours, yours is bad. This is my awkward fit. My first time ever hiking in hiking boots. So it is one mile up, one mile down. 800 feet. We're starting the hike right here. 800 feet, one mile. We're already up, zero feet. <laughs> Here we go. Already panting. Down. Into the woods. Are you like moving and grooving? Yeah, under 100. Times. Have you been doing this every day? This is my faith system. I'm That's at it? 116. I was 169. Still? Really? Right now? Earlier. Now it's lowering. Okay, what is it now? 145. So you, your heart is beating quite a bit more than ours. You'll probably burn the most calories. Yep. I'm different. That's simple. Stay on my grind. We are over halfway. And I'm really pushing through. Wow, y'all, why is it so dark? Pushing through, it's actually pretty flat right now, but it has been just straight up almost this whole time. Um, Abram, from his twisted ankle, is struggling. I always forget about his ankle. We need to bring his compression sock on trips. Anyway, feeling active, yay! <laughs> We 
headed to the top of Blue Mountain, eh? Okay. That was bad. Too bad. I can't do the Canadian. Man. Man. There it is. Which lake is this again? Huron. The Georgian Bay on Lake Huron. Like he said. Oh, this is the vibe right here. Let's go tomorrow. Well, as you saw, we made it to the top and we sat here, took it in. I went to the bathroom and those porta potties. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to share that, but now we are gonna head back down. And then I think we're gonna go like swimming or something again today. We went to the beach, but I was really? so tired. I tried to get in the water and it was like freezing. I didn't even explain what happened there. I was just so tired yesterday. Anyways, I'll be more hyped today and show us swimming. What are you saying? The air is more crisp here. Like on top of the mountain or in well, Canada? obviously up here, but also in Canada. It's fresh. Do you want a beaver tail? Yes. They have one up here. Wait, really? Yeah. A pre-hike beaver tail? Really? A or a mid-hike beaver tail? Oh, never can't keep up Oh, with yes. <laughs> I just want the Oreo one again. Which one are you thinking about? I was thinking about the pistachio. Must, the mustache. I think the maple mustache. is looks, looking pretty fire. Which one? The maple. So if you don't know, this is what a beaver tail is. It's basically like a funnel cake with a bunch of crap on it and it's basically the most sugary thing you could eat and it's about to hit. Mmm. It looks a little bit pickly. A little scared. <laughs> a little pickly. A little pickly. You gotta taste test it for us. Mm. It's oddly good. It tastes like almost like avocado smoothie or something. Really? Yeah. It looks kind of horrendous. It looks like someone sprinkled egg yolk all over it. Yeah. It's not bad. It doesn't even taste like pistachio. But to be fair, it's definitely just like a sugary drizzle and you can't really go wrong with just like yeah. sugar It's definitely just on bread. glazed. <laughs> How's the avalanche? Oh. Yeah. Yep. I mean, it's cheesecake. Can't go wrong with that. It's the goat. It's undefeatable. You look kind of funny in this chair. Abram in the wild <laughs> with a beaver tail. Now we go back down. Oh, my knees. Like do little hops. Shower. I guess now we're getting in the hot tub. How's the hot tub? <laughs> I suppose you could start. Just it finished if you hot want. tubbing. Now we're going to the store to grab stuff for dinner for Canada everyone. Walmart. Canada Walmart. They, A big. Bags are up. Bags mm. are usually down. Oh, true, true. They're literally different. Don't make fun of Canadian in front of Tori though. Yeah. Tori steaming over there. About the different kind of bag. The Canada rage is <laughs> oozing off of her. She's had enough. <laughs> Me at Walmart immediately checking if they have Reckless. It looks like they do not. I mean, it literally came out today. Six, seven, eight. Set, break. <laughs> break. <laughs> Didn't I just say I could only do 12? 14, 15, set. 16. No! My dad said he could do 30. I'll get there. Morning no breaks! No breaks! That doesn't count. I'm halfway. <laughs> Alright, we'll get the other 15 in when we get back. Good job. town and finally got to go to the coffee shop like literally 10 minutes before they closed but it was connected to a bookshop so I looked around for a little bit. Vlog's gonna oh. jump off the pier even though it's like cold and rainy today so pier. actually it's not that cold. It's Do y'all really have good. an umbrella by chance? <laughs> All right Log, your turn. That girl just did it. The water looks very appetizing. It does look really nice today. It's like I perfectly blue. And just start chugging water. <laughs> right here. Keep your momentum going. You can do it again. Really? Let's see, Let's see it, Let's see it. Yeah, let me just get my swimsuit. The parents actually came prepared with an umbrella, chairs, ready to watch. Yeah. I think I'm going to start with going off by the ladder. In case I start getting the You don't want to go that way and then swim all the way over? In case I'm shivering me timbers. Go real quick. What do you think? 
Does anybody top, know top, where top. North is? I think North, north is that way. way. Right? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, y'all were wrong, like, actually. Oh, it's that oh, way. I guess I'm thinking of being in our little ski town. All right, ready when y'all are. Fifty degrees Fahrenheit. Yes. <laughs> How's it feel? That is so cold. Wow. How was it? It's awesome. Alright, yeah. go again. That's really cool. Go again. So go clear. again. You can see all the way down. How deep is that? Ooh, that was good. Oh, the crack. Oh, the crack. It's really warm once you get out. <laughs> Are you doing a backflip bench? Oh, yes he is. Woo! Woo! Oh man, not get any warmer. So cold. Fox said he feels like he's surviving the Titanic. <laughs> Whoa! Woo Almost lost me watch. Not me watch. <laughs> Jelly down there. Dinner time. Got my camera, we just ate, we're gonna go to the village and get beaver tails, let's go. So much for this being an active, healthy trip. All I've done is eat chips and beaver tails. This is my third beaver tail, but they're so good. Oreo, classic, avalanche. Avalanche. And Log got some poutine with brisket. Mm-hmm. Sorry, pulled pork, how is it? Ooh, like it's pretty good. Yep. Not as good as Tori's. Right. Tried to warn you. What kind did you get, Tori? I got the mud pie. Mud mm. pie. Wow. What'd you get, Jordan? The maple. Maple. We got our beaver tails, as you saw. Made it back to the house, changed real quick, packed up the whole car, and now we are at the beach, the lake beach, and we're gonna go paddle boarding. And let me just show you, this is so pretty. It's essentially just a private beach. So pretty. Just us. Step one, it's a lot harder than it looks. Me and Amy were doing it and then Benji and Tori had to sub in my arms. We're definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. Harder than it looks. <laughs> the most insane 15 minute workout ever. Jordan's doing a film project for a company that sells coolers. Hashtag not sponsored. Ooh. How's the water? That's She's all. Way out that's there. all I know how to. Bless you. She's all meditative out there. Looks like Sydney's on her feet. Very impressive. It's actually kind of hard. Is it? You're doing great. Keeping your balance. In this, in this a beautiful place. Lake Huron, Canada. Now we don't have paddles. I have paddles. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> go all the way. Wait, <laughs> it actually feels really good. Yeah, it feels great once you're out. Definitely not as cold as I thought. I guess I should have jumped in at the thing, but it's actually kind of sunny. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. earlier. Hey guys, this is me in the water. Keep slipping around. Okay, I'm getting cold. A lot of golf balls. Yeah, golf balls. a lot of golf balls. Well, yesterday was our last day here in the Blue Mountains and today we're heading to Toronto. Everybody left except me, Abram, Jordan, and Tori. We're doing, I guess, a little couple's getaway to Toronto for a couple of days. We don't fly out till the 7th, so we have an Airbnb, like literally downtown view of the lake, 50 second floor high rise, so it should be pretty fun. It ended up like this because these were the only dates that we could come to Canada, but we only had this Airbnb until today, the 4th. So we're headed to Toronto. Today we're gonna go kind of tour Tori's hometown 
because she's from here. It's like three hours from here though. And then we're spending the rest of our time here in Toronto. Now, the reason we're stopping at her hometown is A, I want to see around it, even though it's like out of the way. And B, this is how much stuff Jordan and Tori have in the car. It is about as stacked as it possibly metal. could be. And there's just enough room for me and Abram to sit. They've been living here for the past month, so they have like everything they own in that car. Luckily it's not raining, so we could just put everything in the back of the truck, but three hour road trip squeezed in there. being city people, Toronto. All right, so when we first walked in, all the doors were closed, so we didn't know what was what. Found out, we have a tiny little baby bathroom. There is a shower. This is shared, so perfect. And then we walked in here, we're like, okay, kitchen. Oh, there's literally just a bed in the living room. But it has these fancy doors that sound like they're gonna fall apart when you move them. And then we're like, wait, where's the other bedroom? So then we came back, and it is a literal cave. So I gave it to Jordan and Tori. It's so terrifying, there's no window, and it's like tiny. At least it has a TV. Yeah, at least you got, we don't get a TV. And the you guys get live, TV. love, laugh. A clock? And then the like, scariest light you've ever seen in your life. At least you have a lamp over here, so you'll be good. That was a very cinematic transition. Okay, and then we'll go back. The laundry. Oh yeah, that's laundry. And we figured out that we can actually open our balcony door. Which of course, we're on the 52nd floor, so not an actual balcony, but oh wait, it can open on the way though. Oh my gosh, that's actually terrifying. Wait, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, don't drop my camera. That's so scary. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Four geese, one tiny apartment. Already locked in on the morning, it is our first day actually in Toronto, and here's our view now that it is daytime. We can see the lake. Unfortunately, it feels like it's about 105,000 degrees in here, and last night we didn't find out that we're supposed to turn that fan on, so we just slept in a hot, stuffy room until the morning we turned it on. And this apartment is so hot and it's not getting cooler. But I didn't sleep very good, but we're still gonna have a good time today. Abram, how did you sleep? You were the one complaining about feeling sick this morning. It doesn't do with the temperature. But yeah, it was hot. How did you sleep, Tori? I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Outside and it feels great. So I don't know why it was so hot up there. All the way up there is where we are. Well, technically, this building. All the way up there. Um, and then we stopped and finally got food at just a little bagel shop. So let's see what it looks like. Ooh. All right, taste test. Mmm. Yeah, we all got the exact same thing, except Dory. <laughs> Primarily of wood or logs, but it also don't point. No, I'm not on your side. Abram reacts. <laughs> Abram reacts to definition of it cabin. Is, it is usually made of wood and designed to blend in with its natural surroundings. So I think that that one did blend in with its natural surroundings. Massive glass windows. I don't know. It was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty modern. Yeah. yeah. 
We're doing the difference between cabin and chalet because we were disagreeing on what that house was called in the Blue Mountains. A chalet is a house commonly found in mountainous regions. Ooh, and the ad did say chalet. Architectural style and is often associated with ski resorts. Distinctive sloping roofs. No, I'd say this one's mm. hard It was pretty distinct. It was pretty slow. Made of wood and stone foundations. Like Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also, we're getting boba. I've never had it. All right, my live reaction to boba for the first time. Wait, that's so good. Why have I never gotten this? Did you get the bubble? Mm, that was fire. Boba, boba. Oreo shake. Zero sugar. It's so random. It tastes like water. <laughs> oh. Since I was wearing the most criminal outfit ever, I went shopping since I didn't bring anything. And this is so cute. So I got these Levi's. I love the length, love the color. And then this shirt. This is the best brand of clothes ever. I forget what it's called. I think it's on the back. It's like Wet n Wild or something from American Eagle. I love their style of clothes. And then I had bought this Canada shirt. I don't feel like putting it back on. But I had to get at least one souvenir t-shirt to wear at home. I will try this dress on for y'all. Here is the dress. It's from Urban Outfitters and it has pockets. Super cute. I think I want to wear it to the island, but so obviously that looks really weird. So I don't know. I'll figure something out. Jordan's making us little snacks. But we also ordered poutine. I never drink milk. Kind of be like that sometimes. Right before I start recording, Abram said, I like milk. You know this I can't, I hate milk. Even like with Oreos. When I discovered almond milk, that was the dream after life. <laughs> this is what we've been doing. All four of us playing Overcooked. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm walking through the street. We decided we're gonna go see the sunset at the tower and then we were gonna go out tonight, but we're all like, mm, tired from traveling, tired from walking so much this morning. So we're just gonna play Overcooked tonight, but we're gonna go see the sunset right now. morning day two full day in toronto we leave at 7 a.m tomorrow except it's like 1 20 and we've been playing overcooked all morning just got ready now we're gonna go we're going to the island today i'm just gonna hang out and probably watch the sunset there so we'll be there all day it feels way better outside today it's not like a thousand degrees oh hello stopping for groceries first we're gonna take the ferry over to the island so we're just waiting in line for the next ferry chaotic and I did not explain it well so I'm gonna hop in now that I'm home and explain a little bit so we went to Toronto Island and we had gotten the ferry that kind of goes to this side of the island rather than like the main part and Tori was like oh yeah it's like a bit of a walk but it's not too far and I did not dress for like walking very far because I thought we were gonna be riding these bikes I showed one of them in the clip we we're gonna get a four-person little bike thing well we went to the other side it was so fun so cool nice to get away from the city we we're doing like picnic vibes eating our bagels having some drinks just like at a picnic table and then we start walking we pass the beach we keep walking we take a little break because we're tired we look at maps it's still like an hour walk get to the bike place we're like oh my gosh so we just take our time getting there i got a massive blister on my foot do not go on a walk in high top converse noted um we get there the bike place closes in 30 minutes there's a two hour wait to get a bike so we didn't even get to do the bikes thing we get to kind of the touristy area and we were gonna have dinner at sunset well it's only like three o'clock we're all exhausted it was so hot and it was only like maybe a two three mile walk so i don't know why we were so tired and we were like mm, well that was fun should we just go back to the apartment play overcooked and like uber eats some cosmos again that like shawarma meal that we had and that was like the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. I wanted it every day I was there. So I was totally fine with that. In conclusion, 
I am not a city person, never really have been, never really will be, neither is Abram, neither is Tori. Jordan lived in New York City, so he was like vibing, but I think we're all more like nature people. The only reason we were in Toronto is because the only time we could go on this trip was the 4th of July week because of my husband's work. And so we just wanted to stay as long as we could. So we had to get an Airbnb in Toronto once the Airbnb was like up that my family was staying at, which was on the 4th. So we were only there for a few days. Looking back, we probably should have just like booked a different Airbnb somewhere in nature because I'm not a city person. But of all the cities I've been to, I did like Toronto. It was pretty chill. And we were planning on like going out and like having a like good time, like doing a little bit of nightlife. And we were all just so tired. like. Me and Tori were both so overstimulated from the big city and walking so much that we were like, what if we just go to the apartment, play Overcooked and order food? So that's what we did like every single night. <laughs> and Toronto was gonna be a separate vlog, but like I said, we didn't really end up doing anything. Abram's in the shower right now. Jordan and Tori are taking a nap because they have to drive us to the airport at like four in the morning. And I just finished packing up. It's about 9 p.m. And we leave in the morning. I'm kind of sad, but tomorrow is also day eight of being on a trip. And I am excited to get home. I really miss our cats and just having a routine and not eating like crap. But I will tell you that my favorite part about Toronto has been all of the Middle Eastern food, the shawarma. Oh my gosh, it's been so good. So that being said, that is kind of the Canada vlog. It was so much fun. I love Canada. I loved the Blue Mountains. I could go back there like literally anytime. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.